Hey guys, this is Safe's Tech Stuff, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to unroot the Nexus 5 and return it to complete stock. So if you guys have a custom ROM on the Nexus 5, or it's rooted, just rooted, or you have a custom recovery, then this is going to show you guys how to return it to complete stock, exactly like it was when it came from Google. So here I have my Nexus 5. This is the Nexus 5 that I rooted a few days ago. So. I have on here right now, I have a custom ROM called Carbon ROM. Let me go to the settings about phone. As you can see here, Carbon version, Carbon KK unofficial. So I have this Carbon ROM on here, and the phone is rooted. It says super user, that means it's rooted. And so I'm going to return it to complete stock. So before we get started, I have to tell you guys that you guys will lose all your data. Anything on the phone will be gone. So you guys should back that up. All photos, videos, everything. It'll be exactly like it came from Google. And if you guys want to know how I um, installed the ROM and uh, how I set it up, my home screen setup and stuff, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about that. But yeah, guys, let's get started. So go to the settings and... Um, if you guys don't have developer options on, go to About Phone and keep tapping Build Number till the developer options turn on. You have to type it seven times, I think. And then the developer settings will turn on. Then just go to Developer Options and scroll down and enable Android debugging or USB debugging. It could be different on your phone, but just enable that. And go home. And then we have to download the files from the computer so we can get started. So let's go to the computer. Okay guys, so here is the here is my desktop. So you have to download this file. This is the Nexus root toolkit. This is by Wokefresh. So they're the developers. I don't take any credit for creating the program. So to download it, just click any of these links. The link will be in the description. So just click it. And the download should start automatically. So as you can see here, the download has started. So it should take a few minutes. I'll forward this part. Okay, guys. So now the download is finished, you should get this file. So I'll just move it to my desktop. Just close this. And then when you open this, you should uh, just click install. If you guys want to change where it installs, you can change that. I'll just install right here. And it should take some time installing. Once the install is done, you should uh, see this thing. If you don't know, check settings, <clears throat> about phone, tablet on your device. If you don't see your build listed, use any build mode for rooting. Select the device you have. So over here, you have to select the device you have. It will select the Nexus 5. And then you have to select the Android build you are currently running. currently running. So if you guys don't know which build you have, you can come to the settings with the phone. and go to about phone and at the bottom it'll tell you the bill number this bill number is KVT49L so over here just select if you don't see that bill number you can select custom ROM if you don't see your bill number just select custom ROM if you see your bill number select the bill number so I'll select custom ROM and click apply okay so uh, we already did this I already showed you how to enable USB debugging and then press OK once this comes just click OK and it should download this file skip it 
Once the download is done, you should see this. Um, Nexus Root Toolkit 1.82. So, when this comes, you'll need to connect your phone with the USB cable to the computer. So here I have my Nexus 5 USB cable. So I'll just plug it in. cancel so if you guys do not have the drivers installed you guys can follow this guide it showed you it shows you how to install it I already have the drivers installed if you guys do not know if you have the drivers installed just click this you can go to step 4 and do the full driver test if you guys pass this that means you have the drivers installed so once that's done um, you should come here and on this side it says that back to stock flash stock plus unroot so if you guys have a soft brick device or your device is stuck in boot loop, check this option. And if your device is on like a normal like a normal device like mine, I have the ROM running, it's up, it's working. So just click device is on normal and click flash stock plus unroot. But before doing this, make sure you guys are all backed up because this will delete all your data. So click flash stock plus unroot and it says this script is designed to help you com help you restore your device back to stock. Please note that this procedure will completely wipe your device. Like I said, it will completely wipe your device. So make sure to back up all your important data first. You need to be unlocked first in order to run the script. Press OK if you are ready to continue. Press Cancel if you are not ready. So my device is already unlocked. If you root your device, that means that it is unlocked. So just click OK. And factory image, we want to download the latest one, which is 4.4.2. And just click automatically download plus extract the factory image selected above from me. And just click OK. And this should take some time, so let's forward this. Okay, guys, so once the download finishes, you should get this window. It says flashing stock will factory reset your device. Make sure to back up your important data first. While it's flashing stock, please be patient. Also, please disregard any message about .sig files missing. Press OK if you are ready to continue. Press Cancel if you are not ready. And on your phone, it should be rebooted into the fast boot mode. The computer will do it automatically so you don't have to do anything. Just click OK. And you should get this uh, command prompt. And it should do everything on its own. Your phone might reboot a few times. Just let it do everything. This might take a few minutes. These are the messages it said to ignore. Writing system usually takes the most time. Okay guys, so now it says finished. That means it's done. And on the computer, it should say press any key to exit. Just click any key. And over here, it says assuming the operation you just performed was successful, you should change your model type. When you press OK, the program will change the model type to Hammerhead Android 4.4.2 build KOT49H. Press OK to accept the change. Press cancel to leave your model type as custom ROM. Regardless, you can change it later using the change button. So just click OK. And this is just showing you how to enable USB debugging on the phone. So your phone is now back to stock. And it says over here, it will be booting up with the, um, the stock boot logo. If you guys want, you can just unplug the device. And it will boot up. And if the phone takes too long to boot up, you guys can just boot into recovery and um, wipe the data and um, wipe the user data in the cache and then try again and it should boot up. I'll forward this. So here it is. This is the welcome screen. We'll have to set up our phone. This is exactly like it came from Google. So before we set it up, the phone, if you want, <clears throat> this is exactly like it was when it came. The only difference is right now, 
the phone has a lo unlocked bootloader. So if you guys return it to Google, they might not accept it for warranty because the bootloader is unlocked. So now I'll show you guys how to lock the bootloader. Let me first show you how it looks when the bootloader is um, unlocked. When we turn on the phone, over here you can see this unlock. It's unlocked. And when we lock the bootloader, this will be gone. So right when the phone turns on, I'll turn it, um, I'll set it up. And then I'll come back once it's set up. Okay, guys. So my phone is set up. And as you can see, it's exactly like it was when I got it. There's nothing installed, no custom ROM. We can check our settings about phone. As you can see it says Android version 4.4.2 and the build number is the one that we installed. And now we'll have to enable USB debugging again so just tap this seven times and now it says you are now a developer. So then go to developer options and just check USB debugging. Okay. Next we will need to connect our phone again to the computer and um, lock the bootloader. So. Let me connect my phone. And now let's move to the computer. If this comes, remember, if this comes, just check always allow from this computer and click OK. So we're back to the same application that we had opened before. Now this time we're going to come over here and click OEM lock. Make sure that your model type is changed. When you um, restore it, it asks you to change it. If you guys didn't change it, you can come here and change it. Or you can just, if it's changed, you can just come here to OEM lock and click that. And it says the script will relock your device back to the original equipment manufacturer specifications, bringing you back to a true factory state. You should be running stock Android before using this. Use the flash stock plus unroot button. We already did that. And just press OK if you're ready to continue. So press OK. It'll say checking ADB status. It says device connected. Now reboot your device into the bootloader mode. This is the bootloader mode. And at the bottom, right now, it should say lock state unlocked. Let me show you guys. Here it says lock state unlocked so we'll change that to lock state locked over here it says booting modified boot image this will go away this unlock so your phone should re so you should reboot your device and Let's say checking fast boot status and say so device connected. It will run its um it'll install the zip and then it says relocking bootloader and now as you can see there is no unlock um logo down here. It's just blank. So the bootloader is now locked again. Okay, so it should say now, your device should now be relocked with the temper flag reset to confirm you are relocked. Re Look at the Google boot screen whenever booting your device. You should no longer see the little unlocked icon. Press OK to finish. So we just rebooted. We didn't see that icon. That means that our bootloader is locked. So yeah, guys, if you completed that successfully, then your phone should be exactly like it was when it came from Google. You should have stock ROM and a stock recovery and your bootloader should be locked. So now you can do whatever you want with it. You can send it back to Google if you have a problem. Or you can just keep it with stock. And if you guys want to know how to do this on the Mac, I will be making a video showing how to unroot the Nexus 5 on Mac. And I will also make a video showing how to root it on the Mac. And if you guys want to see my home screen setup, just let me know in the comments. I'll show you guys how I set up my home screen with the Carbon ROM. I showed you at the beginning. So yeah, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.